In this video tutorial, we'll start by unboxing the Cubo Cam 360 indoor pan and tilt camera to show you everything included in the package. Next, we'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting the camera to your Wi-Fi network and setting it up using the Cubo app. From unpacking to configuring its smart security features, you'll have everything you need to secure your home with ease. The Cubo Cam 360 Indoor Pan and Tilt Camera is an all-in-one security solution designed to provide superior video quality with its 3MP, 1296p, resolution, ensuring sharp and clear footage for both live streaming and playback. Its standout feature is 360 degrees coverage, powered by a dual motor head that allows you to pan and tilt the camera to cover every angle of a room. This full horizontal view can be controlled seamlessly through the Cubo app, offering a highly customizable monitoring experience tailored to your needs. Whether you want to keep an eye on your home, office, or loved ones, the camera's flexibility ensures there are no blind spots. Built for 24-7 live monitoring, the Cubo Cam offers continuous recording, so you never miss a moment. The camera is equipped with advanced smart features like intruder alerts, motion tracking, and person detection, ensuring that any suspicious activity is automatically detected and logged. Additionally, the camera's night vision feature provides reliable security even in low-light or dark conditions, making it ideal for both day and night use. These features work together to offer round-the-clock protection, giving you peace of mind wherever you are. One of the most convenient features of the Cubo Cam 360 is its two-way talk capability, which allows you to communicate directly through the camera with pets, family members, or visitors no matter where you are. Paired with real-time alerts, you'll receive instant notifications on your phone when motion or human presence is detected, helping you stay on top of any potential threats. Installation is a breeze, with multiple mounting options that let you set up the camera on a tabletop or mount it on a wall for better coverage. Memory Card Installation Before installing or removing the memory card, always ensure the camera is powered off to prevent any potential damage to both the camera and the card. The microSD card slot is located on the bottom of the rotating lens. To access it, gently tilt the camera lens upward. Insert the memory card as demonstrated in the video, ensuring it fits securely into the slot. The camera supports microSD cards up to 512GB, providing ample storage for extended recording durations. To insert or remove the card, simply press it gently until it clicks into place or pops out. With a 512GB memory card, you can store up to two weeks of footage, depending on the video quality, frame rate, and whether you choose continuous or motion-triggered recording modes. After the memory card is properly inserted, power on the camera, and it will begin recording automatically. Power up the camera. To begin powering up your Cubo Cam 360, connect the camera to a power source using the provided USB power adapter and USB cable. First, insert the USB end of the cable into the adapter, then attach the other end to the camera's power port. Ensure that the adapter is plugged into a functional wall socket or a power strip. Once the camera is connected to the power source, it will automatically start its boot-up sequence. During this process, the camera's pan-tilt PT, lens will rotate, signaling that the device is initializing and preparing for operation. You'll notice that the lens moves in a circular motion, covering the camera's 360 degrees range, which serves as a check to ensure the motor functions are working correctly. At first, a red light will illuminate on the camera, indicating that the camera is in the booting process. This light signifies that the camera is receiving power and is going through its system checks. The red light will remain steady during this time. Once the boot-up process completes, the red light will begin flashing, which signals that the camera is now ready for use. Also, you will hear a voice announcement confirming that the camera is now ready to configure the network. Download and install the Cubo app. To begin setting up your Cubo 360 camera, you'll first need to download and install the Cubo app on your smartphone or tablet. Start by locating the QR code in the camera's user manual. 
This code will take you directly to the app's download page. Simply scan it using your smartphone's camera or a QR code scanning app, and it will redirect you to the appropriate app store. Alternatively, you can manually search for the app in either the Google Play Store, or Android, or the Apple App Store, or iOS. Search for Cubo and select the app developed by Hero Electronics. Once found, tap the Install button to download the app. Depending on your internet connection, the download process may take a few minutes, so ensure you have a stable connection. After the app is installed, open it to begin the setup process. The app will prompt you to allow notification permissions and then guide you to the sign-up page to create your account. Create an Cubo account. To create a Cubo account, you have two options, logging in with existing credentials or registering for a new account. If you're an existing user, simply enter your registered email address and password in the login fields provided on the screen and click the Login button to access your account. For those who are new to Cubo, begin by clicking the Sign Up button, which will take you to the registration page. Here, you will start by entering your email address in the first field. Ensure that the email you provide is valid, as it will be used for account verification and important notifications. Next, enter your full name in the designated field. After that, select your country code from the drop-down menu. This step is essential for correctly identifying your region and ensuring compliance with local regulations. Following the country code, you will need to input your mobile number. This number will be used for verification and recovery purposes, so make sure it's accurate. You may also see an optional address field where you can enter your residential address. While this information is not mandatory, providing it can be beneficial for any future account-related services. Now, create a secure password for your account. It's recommended to use a combination of letters, numbers, and special characters to enhance security. After entering your password, you will need to agree to the terms and privacy policy by checking the box indicating your consent. Once you've filled out all the necessary fields and checked the agreement box, click the Submit button to finalize your registration. After submitting, keep an eye on your email and mobile device, as you will receive verification codes or links to confirm your identity. Shortly after signing up, you should receive a verification email. Be sure to check your inbox and spam folder if necessary, and follow the instructions provided to confirm your registration and activate your account. Once your email is verified, you'll also need to verify your mobile number. A verification code will be sent to your mobile device, simply enter this code in the app to complete the mobile number verification. Now that your Cubo app is set up and ready to use, you can easily add your camera. On the Add Device page, you can also access the Profile option, which allows you to enter or modify any user-related updates, including changing your account information or preferences. To configure your Wi-Fi network, start by selecting your unit's location. After that, choose the device type. Since you're setting up the Cubo 360 camera, make sure to select the Cam 360 icon from the available options. This selection will ensure that the app is configured correctly for your camera, allowing you to proceed smoothly with the setup process. Camera Reset The app will prompt you to confirm whether the camera's red LED is blinking continuously. If the red LED is not blinking, you will need to press and hold the reset button for up to 10 seconds to restore the camera to factory settings. However, if the camera's LED is indeed blinking, you can proceed by confirming with the Yes option in the app. This confirmation ensures that the camera is in the correct state for the setup process. For demonstration purposes, we have reset the camera, and the voice prompt will confirm this action. After resetting, Wait a few moments for the camera to prepare itself for network configuration mode. Note, when configuring the Wi-Fi for your camera, it's essential to keep it near your internet modem or router. 
This proximity helps establish a strong and stable connection during the setup process within the Cubo app. Once the Wi-Fi is successfully configured and the camera is connected, you can then move it to your desired location for monitoring. Cubo camera is ready for setup. Follow the instructions from Cubo app. Camera adding. Now, the red light on your Cubo camera will begin flashing, indicating that the camera is ready for use. This flashing light signifies that the camera is in configuration mode, and you will also hear a voice announcement confirming that the camera is prepared to configure the network. Click the This name will help you identify the camera later, especially if you have multiple devices connected to the app. Choose a name that makes sense to you, such as Living Room Camera or Front Door Cam, and enter it in the provided field. Next, the app will request permission to access your location. This permission is essential as it allows the app to configure the camera to connect to your home Wi-Fi network properly. Grant this permission to continue with the setup process. In this step, you'll see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Select your home Wi-Fi network from this list. If your network does not appear, ensure that your router is on and that your smartphone is connected to the same network you want the camera to join. After selecting your network, enter the Wi-Fi password. Make sure you enter the correct credentials, as any error will prevent the camera from connecting. Once you have entered the correct Wi-Fi password, the app will generate a QR code specific to your camera's connection. This QR code is crucial as it contains the necessary information for the camera to connect to your Wi-Fi network. To complete this part of the setup, hold your smartphone in front of the camera lens at a distance of 10 to 30 centimeters, about 4 to 12 inches. The camera will recognize the QR code and announce, QR code scanned, please wait. QR code scanned, please wait. This indicates that it is processing the connection. The connection process typically takes a few minutes. During this time, the camera is attempting to establish a stable connection with your home Wi-Fi network. Once the camera successfully connects, the LED indicator will change color, confirming that it is now online and ready for use. At this point, you can proceed to configure additional settings or begin using your camera for monitoring. Cubo camera is ready for use now. Upon successful configuration, the Cubo camera will announce via a voice prompt that it is connected to your Wi-Fi network. You will also notice the LED indicator change from flashing red to a stable green light, confirming that the camera is operational. After successfully connecting your Cubo camera to your Wi-Fi network, click Continue to configure additional features. At this stage, you'll be presented with the option to integrate the camera with Alexa for enhanced smart home functionality. If you want to enable this integration right away, click Allow to grant the necessary permissions. However, if you prefer to set it up later, you can choose Not Now to skip this step, allowing you to explore other features of the camera without immediate Alexa integration. Currently, Cubo offers a free trial of its cloud storage plan known as the Gold Plan, which lasts for one month. This trial allows you to experience the benefits of cloud storage for your camera footage without any cost. To activate this feature, simply follow the prompts in the app during the setup process. This will enable you to store and access your recorded video footage securely in the cloud, providing peace of mind and ensuring that important moments are preserved even if the camera is damaged or stolen. Once the setup is complete, the camera is ready for immediate use, equipped with features such as PTZ, pan, tilt, and zoom, control. This allows you to adjust the camera's viewing angle and direction according to your needs, enhancing its functionality for various monitoring scenarios. After successfully configuring the Wi-Fi and adding the camera to the app, you can proceed to install it in its designated location. The camera will now be fully operational, enabling live streaming, playback, 
and PTZ controls, accessible from anywhere in the world, whether using mobile data or a Wi-Fi connection. To finalize the initial setup and ensure optimal performance, you should set the correct date and time, as well as configure storage and recording options. Simply click the settings icon on the camera's main page to access these options. Within the settings menu, you can customize essential features such as notification preferences, cloud storage settings, and recording schedules, tailoring the camera's operation to suit your specific requirements. On the Storage option, you will find settings related to the SD card for local storage. It's important to check that the inserted SD card status is marked as Normal. If the status indicates otherwise, click the Format SD Card option to initialize the card and prepare it for use. Okay, SD card. Please wait. This step ensures that the SD card is ready to store your recordings effectively. For more detailed instructions on managing storage settings, event alerts, two-way audio, and other configurations, refer to another video in this series, where we delve deeper into these features. For further clarification on these topics, we provide in-depth explanations in additional segments of this video series. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting us by liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel. Your support is vital in helping us create more content and offer valuable resources to our audience. Every bit of support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.